Okay, welcome back, ladies and ladies with dicks, to another intense session of busting a fat load of jizz with your favorite pew barber briz. And before I make your nuts shiver and your ass quiver, yes, I did get a new software for my audio. So if my voice sounds crisper than an obese man penguin sliding on a treadmill, that's probably why. Now, I'm sure you guys know what this video is going to be about today. If you have been vaping kelp juice boost with my homie Patrick Starr and I have no idea what in the fender bender I just stuck my ass in a blender is going on, then allow me to tell the the old tall tale, the legends of Sucius the Pooh and the quest to find her divine oh hairline. Good morning, traveler. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Has one, has of, one the of the smallest, smallest egos, egos that I have ever known. Why would I care to prove my innocence to a bunch of nobodies on the <laughs> I'm gonna be butt ass naked so the wind could just be hitting my balls and shit. Okay, so Susie Lou's another one of those dumpster fire reaction channels that do about as much effort as Helen Keller doing a TED talk. Originally, before Susie Lou's about the equivalent to being the Lex Luthor of YouTube, and I'm not even comparing how shiny their gagongous <laughs> heads are. Her colossal <laughs> head is so massive that I could stream a 4K IMAX movie on it with surround sound. Susie Lou who decided to grab her 8 bit VTech camera and start a dumpster fire channel as an average gaming channel around the summer of 2013 with my favorite sports game of all time, Resident Evil 3. Yes, that was a fucking joke. Besides having her camera look like she just stole it from a Speedway gas station. Like, seriously, that face cam quality is so bad that I think I'm starting to develop cataracts. <laughs> Bro, she deadass don't even fit into the camera. So you're probably wondering what was so bad about her uploading gaming videos. What caused the entire platform of YouTube to fully dick slap her off the face of the earth? What caused her to have her hairline look like it got shoved so far back that she looks like Sheen's inbred brother? Well, slap my willy and call me silly. Because I'm about to tell you guys right now why. It all started with two singular words that led her down to being the ass shaft of YouTube. Anime titties. The Suzy Wan Jitsu started her beaming reign of terror when she decided to change her content from uploading average gaming videos to her reacting to anime. She started posting her reacting to popular anime such as Naruto, which I fuck with heavy, and My Hero Academia. And as Shikamaru would say, her content was just such, such a drag. drag. You dig? You could probably open up all eight chakra points with her mm mm mm. So reacting to uncut anime is perfectly fine, right? Yeah, that's like saying the Holocaust was a birthday party. Alright, so if you don't see the problem with uploading reactions with uncut, full episodes of anime, then you might want to get tested for hepatitis because your brain has to be a compressed plate of unseasoned spaghetti. In case you didn't know the official law of fair use, it states under the section of 107, like I'm reading off a of fucking uology, that fair use is used for purposes of criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, and research. Now, the last time I checked, Susie Booth is about doing absolutely jack shit of what I just listed. Her reaction just consists of her gazing at the camera like a deer that's about to get ran over by a semi-truck. Watching her videos are like watching a Charlie Chaplin production film. She literally puts no effort into reaction whatsoever, and I think Suck Stephen Hawking running a relay race would be more entertaining than any of her videos. Just uploads full uncut episodes of anime without having any sort of permission to do so, which is just highly illegal if you did not know. And just to think, if I breathe on a Dr. Phil video, good old Philly McSeesaw slams his mustache hairs on the copyright button. No idea what the hell that is. She initially, I believe, held them on their Patreon, which is now being under investigation. Wrong. Actually, shit, when I'm recording, this just got fucking banned. Let's go, boys. Thank you, John Swan, for the update. Give me a smooth. Now, we always had this sort of content on YouTube where people would sit in front of a camera and mortifyingly stare like a Vietnam vet having jungle flashbacks and occasionally let out a slight chinkle to avoid the video turn into a scene from the quiet place John, I usually there's one exception these reaction youtubers did and that was react to trending topics of certain videos which falls under the fair use category what suzy lou is doing is completely pirating a video and then proceeding to not even bother to cut it and just react to the whole entire thing and if you still don't believe me then just see what i mean Make it. A feeble old lady with these heavy bags asked me for direct a lie. At least make up a good one. <laughs> Gee, Wilkers, holy cow, wobbles. I haven't seen such a quality production since the last time I saw <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna give it a buck. Suzy Lou low-key looking like a gluck gluck gluck. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. So besides committing a second class felony, Suzy Lou was doing nothing wrong. Over time, she amassed somehow over 300,000 simps to bust a splooge over their monitor and find her content so good that they found themselves desperate to sub to her. Eventually, she made a Patreon and the simps decided to donate their life savings to a girl that looks like a Caribbean dolphin. Eventually, the true colors of Suzy Lou started to show. 
know. The dark side of Susie started to emerge and everyone got a taste of how batshit insane she is. The first YouTuber got the wrath of a humanized gumdrop was a small gaming YouTuber named Mark After Dark. You know, he used a small amount of her content from The Last of Us, and all he did was include her crying as a meme in the beginning of his video. But guess what? It got taken down. Is this nigga serious? So if I'm not mistaken, Susie Lou initially got called out by a YouTuber named Tipster News around March of last year. He was one of the first people to pick up on what Susie has been doing. All Tipster did was address her content and what was wrong with it. He did nothing to insult her or say anything that was worth getting his video taken down. <laughs> but you know what Susie Lou does? She full out Donkey Kong Mal it slammed his video off the YouTube. That's right, the person that reacts to uncut anime decided it would be a terrific idea to strike someone for copyright because he used a millisecond of her content. Susie, what in the deep fried fuck are you doing? For being an albino mega mind, you are not the brightest crayon in the shed. <laughs> okay, that made no sense. Sadly, because of tips for being a small YouTuber at the time, her bullshit flew under the radar. Many other small YouTubers started to talk about her channel and the whale blubber that you call content that she posted. And strangely, all those videos started to disappear out of thin air. Hmm, I wonder why Susie Susie was out here Thanos snapping videos left and right that were just simply criticizing her. She would continue to false strike many YouTubers and YouTube videos that included her in it. Susan Wasabi Sauce Hello. even Hello. promoted it by allowing her to be in last year's YouTube Rewind. <laughs> you steal, you get striked. Maybe ask a channel for permission before you take their content. We'll save you a headache in the future. <laughs> oh yeah, Susie, that's kind of ironic. Maybe you should ask Tokyo TV if you can sit there for an hour while you watch your tits lactate and upload what you call content. And to really just not even put the icing on the cake, to put the cake on the fucking ice. Thing. She harassed multiple YouTubers and then tries to play the victim when she gets called out. Right, but my boy Joseph really out here installing though. In a YouTuber named It's Becky Boop was constantly harassed by Susie for months, which literally caused her to leave and take a break from YouTube. All because Betty called out Susie for live streaming a broadcast directly from BBC when Trump was becoming president. Susie decided to fire back at her, even insulting her weight when she had high insecurities about it. If you guys want to see her story, she shared all of the encounters she had with Susie Lou in this Harry Potter novel of a tweet. I didn't block you because you harassed me for months, made hateful comments about me across YouTube, or obsessively followed my comments. I blocked you because I do not wish to be associated with a fraud. Oops. Okay, damn, Becky out here getting wrecky. A little over a year and a half ago, you started spamming my comments and videos with insults and accusations without knowing me. You contacted people I know to get my private information. I tried to be nice to make it stop and said you became obsessed with me and my channel to where the point that you moved, to where the point that you would lie, she and steal and defraud your own view to try and beat me. I was freaked out and had to take a break from YouTube. I stopped the growth of my channel to try to stop you. You started purchasing subs, people pointed this out, so you began inflating views on your videos so they would match your subscriber count. You defrauded AdSense in the process, which is not only unethical and against Google Terms of Service, but it's also illegal. What the fuck am I watching, my nigga? Susie Lou, what can you possibly say to that? What could you possibly do to get yourself out of that situation? I know what you can do. How about you just false strike more videos and harass more people? Cause she put that bitch on repeat and continued to harass her and other YouTubers. Keep in mind, almost no one knew about what she was doing yet. She received a slap on the wrist for what she did. Our Lord and Savior, safe to say second coming of Jesus, John Swan, tried to upload a full ass, really good 30 minute video talking about the deeds that the gender bent Lord Voldemort have done. This video was huge. It gave a slap on the dick to all of the YouTube community, what she has been doing in the past and what kind of monstrosity she is now. But you know what happened. Guess what Susie Blue did to this video. That's right, she took it down without any mercy, but this time it was too late. Videos began to spread everywhere and Susie Lou was finally shown for what she really is. John Swan wasn't facing any of that shit, so he re-uploaded the censor version of which she exploded even more. Major news channels such as Killer Keem and Scares covered stories of Susie Lou. What Susie Lou's response? What what could she do? Yep, you guessed it, strike down even more videos. And dared to not even post and she even dared to post tweets saying that she did not submit one single strike across any channel. <laughs> I don't know what kind of drug you ate anally inject Susie, but give me that shit because you are tripping saggy balls if you think you're fooling anyone with that bumble shrimp. Susie also came out and tweeted, if I was this awful person who wanted to continue to take down all content that criticized me and I had the power to do so, as many people seem to believe, well I mean shit you kind of fucking do, then why are there so many videos up? You know, maybe Susie there's more videos talking about you than the molecules that are resting on your NASA space shuttle before. If you try to take down every video you come across because you can't handle any criticism talking about the mistakes that you made. Well that's about all the story leading up to now, if I didn't tell you guys, I'm secret secretly an African warlord from the Baba Lala Lulu tribe, and one of my child soldiers wants to hop on the mic, so I'm gonna let him preach our battle plans. Make sure you guys subscribe to my brother Chase. The channel link is in the description. Alright, I'm out. Oot oot! Thank you, Puppy Briz, for passing the mic. Mwah. Now, I think Briz explained what this 50-foot skyscraper head ass is and what she does on YouTube. Now, with that big international airport on her head, she wasn't smart enough to understand basic YouTube rules of how to react to videos on it. 
honestly quite sad in ways because I think even a nine-year-old would know that it's illegal as hell to just post full anime shows on YouTube and not just say, wow, or that's amazing every five fucking minutes. <laughs> But what I want to get into today is not talking about that Jimmy Neutron size head of hers, but what she's doing today and how she's still being a little <laughs> Now I'm sure Susie Lou wakes up every morning still thinking to herself when someone just says the slightest thing wrong with her channel that she has that person instantly flagged and complains to her YouTube manager. She's pretty much a Karen at this point. Turns out Karen actually spoke to the manager after him. For every lie she tells, I swear her hairline just recedes more and more like I'm not even capping. I've seen a lot of YouTubers make videos on Megamind here and how much she acts like a five-year-old when it comes to criticism. If I say your videos are not that good to her, she fucking has a panic attack and makes sure to call her manager and act like that I said do 20 backflips off the fucking Empire State Building. That thing is, she's also thinking to herself that when she gets her videos taken down and copyrighted that they were wrong for doing so. When somebody criticizes her because her reactions aren't transformative and that she just says oh man or wow like a basic white mom when she sees her five-year-old son playing soccer. Honestly, to me, I think she just needs to calm down and realize that she's really in the wrong here. She's literally just playing full episodes of anime and not having any transformative reactions at all and that she's basically uploading them illegally. She takes things that people say about her and she tries her very hardest to make it extremely worse than it actually is. Sadly, this gets you to, to believe her that she's quote unquote being harassed. Like, don't get me wrong, I can use your phone oh, no. as an escalator. No, literally most YouTubers that upload about her just say that she doesn't use any transformative reactions when she reacts to her quote unquote reaction videos or that she you know she basically uploads full shows of anime illegally like it's honestly just sad she's probably the type of woman who would just walk up to me and confront me of assaulting her if i literally just breathe anyways i'm gonna let briz do his outro if you guys love my sexy voice and want to hear more of me then go to my youtube channel called goose 13 which i'm sure is on the screen right now Alright guys, I'm out. So I think it's safe to say that Suzy Lou is officially over. She's not coming back. Her career is gone. Her second channel's been completely purged. She has multiple lawsuits coming towards her way. She's going on multiple Twitter rants. She's even setting up a cameo and charging almost up to a thousand dollars for people to see private videos of her it's honestly just pathetic and she's a 31 year old woman doing this she's still taking down videos as we speak so if anything if you guys want to make your own video about her that would be greatly appreciated she can't stop us all and to be honest i don't think she will stop doing what she does until she's gone from this site all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to slap a like on this video for your dance slaps you subscribe hit my vibe and follow my twitter link down below also guys make sure to follow my instagram and join my discord if you want like i said all those links will be down below in the description Make sure to subscribe to Chase as well. Really underrated. Try to get on at least 200. I love you guys. No homo though. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Aight, right, bro. I'm gonna head out of this bitch. Aight. Uh-uh. Oh, by the way, Steve, you're fucking next, buddy.